Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to do a quick video on cutting in uh, TV boxes. So for our build, uh, I chose to get, do uh, cut in TV boxes, recessed TV boxes uh, versus um, like the kind that you can nail on to, to rough in. Uh, honestly, because I thought these were the rough in kind and they weren't, uh, so. Uh, if you can do the roughing kind, I'd recommend it because then the drywallers cut your hole for you. But if you didn't do that or don't want to do that for whatever reasons, here's uh, how you can kind of install um, a cut-in TV box and really just cut the hole. So uh, we're here right now, uh, roughing drywall's done, and I wanted to get this done and have all the holes cut before the finishers come. That way I know if I have any problems with my walls, you know, where I can't get my wires that are buried in the wall, I can um, I can make sure that I, you know, if I have to cut any extra holes, access holes, right? Uh, you saw that in the previous video, that we can get all that done now so that the mutters and tapers can fix it for us. So uh, with that being said, I want to show you what I did. First off, I would recommend getting a drywall box that has a paper template that shows you the exact size. This makes things nice. In my case, here's mine. So what I did was I positioned it on the wall. I used my level uh, along this dotted line to kind of make sure that the, the paper was level on the wall, right? So I'm cutting a straight line. And then I just used pan, you know, blue painter's tape and taped it to the wall, exactly where I want. So I did this all around the house for all of, all of the boxes. That way I can visualize, I can see, okay, that's where the hole's gonna be for the recessed box. Um, so I might uh, step back because I haven't explained what a recessed TV box is. Some of you may not know or, or think about this. Uh, so the idea being that you mount a flat screen on the wall, right? And you get all the cables and power cords and everything and you want it to be all pretty. So there's a couple ways that you can do that. And one way you can do that is with a recessed box. So the box that I got uh, recesses all the way into the cavity. So it's like three, you know, three inches deep. And it basically has two boxes in it at an angle. And I'll show you, you'll get to see it during the finish out. But one side is a power outlet for power to plug the TV in. And the other side is for low voltage. So in my case, like I showed in previous videos, I ran ethernet drops. And for in the case of the master TV and the living room TV, I ran a POV drop too. So uh, I'd highly recommend doing this on a new build. In my case, I, we did a TV box in every room, every bedroom, and then the... Uh, the game room, and then the uh, living room here where I am, TV above the fireplace. So this is what it looks like before. And once you have it positioned and you like it, then you just, you know, back to grade school, cut on the dotted line, right? So I'm gonna go in the master, I'll show you what I did. I've gotten two done, so I figured I'd show you what they look like. Here is the completed work. And as you can see, here are our wires. We've got our power wires. We've got our Ethernet right where we uh, planned it. It's nice when a plan comes together. And you just pull the template off the wall and you're good to go. And then your, your recess box will slide in the cavity and it's got the little ears that you, you know, screw down to, to pinch between the drywall. What I used to do that is a multi-tool. Uh, use this one for Milwaukee because I am bought into the Milwaukee system and I love it. I got the cheap one, this is the non-fuel one because from the bulk of my use cases is stuff like this. I really don't need to pay extra money for the fuel version that just came out um, for cutting drywall and baseboard and that kind of thing. And so this one was a lot cheaper. I'll show you the other one that I cut in. This is in the my son's bedroom, the guest bedroom slash future mother-in-law suite. And so this one's a little more representative because it's not an outside wall. So you got the wall cavity here and we've got the power wires and our ethernet that I just lost out of there, right there, right? That we buried in the wall. So we'll just pull all those out, hook it up, throw the box in the wall. Uh, hope that this back here that is right here that I just noticed doesn't interfere with the box. That's gonna be fun. Uh, building. Building a house live, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that clears. If it doesn't clear, we'll make it clear. Not a problem. That is the uh, towel bar reinforcement uh, on the other side. 
So I might go grab a box and do a test fit. Now let's do this. These are things to think about when you're doing this. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, and I uh, hope uh, it yeah, helps you on your build. Uh, in this case, maybe I should uh, also say, save the piece you cut out because maybe you need to move the hole because something's blocking it and you need to raise it up a little bit. Uh, that might help for patching later. So anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.